All right, what's up, brothers? This is Corey from Lion Dads. Got another podcast, another video for you guys. Uh, today, just real quick, it's going to be a quick one. I want to talk to you guys about what exactly I eat on my carnivore diet. So there's a lot of different ways that you can do a carnivore diet. And the way I started out was just the most basic, just eat meat. And that's basically how I started doing it. And basically also, that's what I've stuck to. There's a lot of people who have different ideas of how to do a carnivore diet and what they think is right versus what I think is right or other people might think is right. Some people eat a dirtier version of a carnivore diet, more of like a keto type diet. Some people are super, super strict where they only eat like one thing. So I'll talk a little bit about the different kinds of diets you can do on this carnivore diet and ultimately you just have to decide what's best for you, what's best for your family and how you want to go about doing your version of the carnivore diet because that's basically what it all boils down to is finding your best way to do this and get healthy on your own terms. And what works for you may not work for me. What I found worked the best may not work for you and vice versa. All right, so there's a few different kinds. And the first one is obviously just plain old carnivore diet. If it comes from an animal, you can eat it. And you can do it any way you want to do it. You can Nothing's really off limits. You can eat beef. You can eat pork. You can eat chicken. You can eat fish, um, eggs, anything like that. Uh, some people like it nose to tail where they're eating like liver and kidneys and heart and brains and all that kind of stuff. Um, some people like me don't like that stuff. So they probably aren't going to eat that stuff. And I find that for me that's fine. I haven't ever really eaten any of the organ meats or anything like that the whole time I've been doing this diet. And I've thrived on it and lost weight and gotten stronger and gotten healthier and felt awesome. But I do eat a lot of eggs. So I think eating eggs with their nutritional content and eggs are a huge part of the way I eat. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. I think that kind of offsets some of the need to eat a lot of like the, the organ meats. Um, another way that people do the carnivore diet is a little more strict. It's a BBBE, they call it. That's a beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. It's all the people eat. Uh, they just eat their beef, they eat their bacon, eggs and butter. So that's a little more of a strict version. Um, I have eaten that way time to time. I haven't really gotten on that version of the carnivore diet strict just because I do personally like some variety in my diet. But there are people who do like a BBBE challenge and they find that it's a good way for them to kind of they optimize their weight loss and some of their health stuff. Some people report. Like I said, I haven't done that. Um, it is something that I do think I'm going to do in the future. Uh, some sort of like BBBE challenge that I've seen out there. And, uh, you know, when that happens, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how that goes. And what my results kind of maybe look like. Uh, another third version of it. And I'll do a more in-depth video on all these three types down the line somewhere. But uh, the third one is a lion diet. Um, that is strict beef and salt diet. Beef, salt, and water. That's all you're allowed on a lion diet, a true pure lion diet. Um, that's all you eat. Muscle. You, I think uh, from what I understand, it's a nose to tail type of a deal where the people are eating like the liver and all that heart and all that kind of stuff um, just to make sure they're getting a lot of the needed nutrients and stuff like that but it's the very the that's definitely the strictest form of a carnivore diet and one that I'm not so sure that I would ever really fully go into I've done periods where I've pretty much just eaten beef uh, most uh, just the muscle meat, though, and been fine. But you know, I I eat a lot of eggs, like I said, and uh, you know, I just like I like some of the variety. I do come up with like recipes and stuff that kind of imitate 
other kinds of foods that you would normally eat on like your standard American diet, but it's pure carnivore. And I'll talk more about those in a little bit. So the staples of my diet, let's talk about that a little bit. What do I always find myself eating over? And I think most people pretty much 90% of the time eat like the same five to 10 foods on a like consistent rotation. And I found that that's pretty much true with myself. So uh, my staples are definitely going to be one ground beef. Ground beef is just an awesome, awesome way to eat and make sure you're getting your carnivore food intake. Um, there's so many different ways and different recipes you can make with ground beef. You know, you can obviously do hamburgers or you can just do one big ground beef. I just kind of cook it in a pan and throw cheese on it and that's what I eat. Um, you can do meatloaf, you can do meatballs, you can do tons of stuff. I'll probably do a video later on about, you know, how you can eat ground beef, basically live on it and eat something different throughout a week. Um, so ground beef's a big one. Steak's obviously another one. Um, I personally like buying my own beef from a rancher. So we get a lot of steak with that. Um, I eat a ton of steak. I had steak for dinner tonight. So, I mean, I probably eat steak if I can multiple times a week. I know it get, you know, if you're out there buying all the ribeyes or New York strips or T-bones and all that stuff gets expensive. Um, but you need that stuff for the fat content. You know, if I, you know, I'm kind of on a budget, I'll just go buy leaner cuts that are, I don't want to say like crappier cuts, but they are leaner. They don't have that fat. And part of this diet is eating that fat. So I'll throw butter on them. So butter is another staple of my diet. Um, I'll add butter or bacon grease to the steak if it's a leaner cut just to get that added fat. Like I said, eggs, probably one of the biggest staples of my diet. One of the foods that I value the most. Everybody in my house eats a ton of eggs. My one-year-old daughter eats an egg every morning and she looks forward to it. She can't start her day without her egg. I eat eggs um, during the week. Sometimes I fast a little bit. So I try to throw, you know, some eggs in my diet later in the day. If I'm not scrambling some up, I'll have my wife make some deviled eggs or, you know, using nothing but carnivore approved ingredients, or I'll just do some hard boiled eggs and eat those. But eggs are something I try to get in every day. Just phenomenal, phenomenal nutritious, like nutrient dense. Everything you need to create life is in an egg. You know what I mean? Um, you just basically can't get a more pure superfood than eating an egg. So ground beef, steak, eggs. Uh, we eat wings quite a bit, um, like buffalo style wings. It's not quite like pure carnivore because I'm putting like some cayenne pepper and stuff like that, make them kind of buffalo style. Um, but you got to be careful about how you're eating wings. But wings are like one of my favorite things to eat on this diet. But I try to like basically you have to look at the ingredients when you're buying the stuff to make them. Um, I try to either if I'm not air frying everything, I'm smoking it. Or I'm cooking them in like tallow or lard, making sure that the lard you're getting is pure lard, not anything added. You, you got on this diet, you got to look at the ingredients on everything. There's so much hidden crap in all your food. So I only buy uh, cayenne pepper sauce, like a buffalo sauce. It's just basically cayenne pepper and probably vinegar is about all that's in it, water. Um, you got to look at the bottles. Like I know some of the Frank's red hot, like specifically the wing one, it'll have like vegetable oil and all that crap in it. And you don't want that. Same goes with the ranch. If you're dipping in ranch or blue cheese, um, my best recommendation is buy your own for sure or make your own rather not buy your own because everything in the store is full of vegetable oil, soybean oil, all this other crap that you don't want to be putting in yourself. So there's tons of recipes you can find online that are clean, carnivore-ish, ranch or blue cheese type recipes. Um, it's kind of hard to make all that stuff and be pure, 100% carnivore. Obviously, some seasonings and stuff are not going to be 
you know, they come from, you know, herbs and stuff that are grown. So if that stuff bothers you, you obviously don't eat it. But as far as getting like the, the amount of carbs you're getting off it is very, very minimal. But the big thing that I pound the table and preach everybody to is look out for like the vegetable oils and the seed oils and all that stuff when you're buying those types of uh, products in the store as far as your sauces and dipping sauces. Just use your best judgment. You know, one thing that has to become a habit on this diet is looking at the ingredients of everything you buy. You'll be shy. I bought beef patties that I ate for a good year and then noticed one day they had soy in them. Um, desserts. Um, I, you know, I try not to do them too much. My wife will make like this cheesecake. This is about the only dessert I'll eat. She'll whip up a little cheesecake. It's got some sweetener in there. If you don't want to eat sweetener, I understand. Don't do it. But it'll be made of uh, cream cheese, just pure cream cheese and sweetener and a little bit of heavy whipping cream. So I obviously I eat dairy on this diet. Um, I don't drink milk much, but I'll add in heavy whipping cream and some of the cream cheese and the butter. Um, those are about all I eat. And it's not very often, you know, I'm mostly just eating the beef and stuff like that. So like I said, it's going to be a short video. Um, real quick, I'll go over what I avoid. If it doesn't come from an animal, I try not to eat it. Like I said, some of the seasonings and stuff are minimal. I, I'll put those on there, but I'm not really worried about them. I don't have like any kind of infl inflammatory effects or anything that come from eating those but i just i don't eat fruit i don't eat vegetables i you know if i'm drinking alcohol now it's once in a blue moon you know it's not very often so like i said quick video just you got to use your best judgment that's what i eat um you guys make your decisions on what you want to eat what works for you you know play around with it and if you eat something, you're like, wow, that really bothers me. I can't eat that anymore. Don't eat it anymore. It's basically all there is to it. So that's all I got for today. Kind of a – got to get the kids to bed and stuff like that. Kind of a quick night, you know. That's that lion dad life. So like, like always, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification. Leave me a comment below. I'll try to reply to everything you guys leave me. Uh, you can find links to all my social media down below, my Twitter, my Facebook. And as always, keep an eye out for more content coming soon. And that is all. Lion Dads, out.